Okay, this is a different video than I've ever done. Uh, and we'll get to why in a little bit. Uh, like the title said, Sick Week. What is Sick Week? It's a drag and drive, um, mostly in Florida, one track in Georgia. Um, you gotta drive to each track with the car you're making passes in. Um, I did it last year in the Chevelle. Your wallet or, you know, stress level or anything like that. But then this time, Meanwhile, we're going to see this beautiful 1969 ben, Chevelle going down so the track. Um, this year, I'm going to be riding with my buddy Mitch in his car. It's a Hellcat. Same class that I did last year, he's doing this year. He's, well, better fit for it with his car. Modern car, he is he can run on a 10-0 where I was limited to 11.5 uh, just for safety stuff. The newer cars, they let run faster uh, without a cage. Uh, what's a drag and drive? It is driving to each track, making a pass, drive the next track, make a pass. It's usually one every day. Um, that's how drag week is. Rocky Mountain Race Week, they have a day or two, I think, that is just driving, uh, just by based by where they're set up. Why am I doing a video like this? Well, I'm riding this time. I don't have to do much of anything for most of the week, aside from ride along, help them swap tires more than likely. So if you all have time to record a lot of it for friends and family that want to follow along. The class that I did last year, the one he's doing, I'm not gonna go over every class because there's, there's too many and I don't want to, is a dial your own index, which means if you, all you, you really need to be competitive is be consistent. Um, whether it's running a 10-0 or running a 17-0, as long as you're whoever has the shortest spread between all the times you turn in throughout the week, you know, that's, that's what that class is all about. His car is very consistent. I, that thing is done 10-0s almost repetitively doing a, in a 10-0 brackets he's raced in, you know, several times. He's really consistent with that car. Even being a modern car, it's... It'll help being consistent. He knows the car well. Um, what I did last year was I ran it on motor to the eighth, let out, got on the brakes at the stripe. It was the first pass I did. I had no idea where I was running, so I just did the whole did that the whole week. Pretty easy. Um, really, was the car did not care. I mean, it's not even an ounce of what it, what it was capable of, so it really wasn't that hard. Um, only had one one kind of hiccup in the beginning. Uh, luckily, a few friends I had down there. It was actually even before it started, it was registration day. Um, when I was putting the motor together, I missed uh, torquing the uh, bolts for the rockers on number seven. That was, no, it was eight, because eight was passenger side. Um, so it actually broke in the burnout box on testing day, but uh, thanks to my buddy Jordan, he knew a guy that was down there um, that builds engines for boats. He had, you know, the few studs that we needed to put it back together. So at first I thought the week was done before it was over, but actually it was the perfect time for something to come, come up because we got it fixed up and the rest of the week was easy. You know, we played around with some tuning stuff with the carburetor, but other than that, it was pretty much cruising around and steak lunches, piece of cake. Probably going to be, hopefully, going to be the same um, this week. Or like, I'm, I'm sure his, you know, Mitch's car is probably, you know, it can handle that week, no problem. So hopefully more steak lunches and cruising in Florida. So I'll probably try to, I don't know exactly what I'll, um, record throughout the week. Obviously, it's passes. Um, maybe it's being uh, being dipshits. 
smart asses, the usual stuff, so people can follow along since they can't, you know, not everybody can go and um, hang out with us in Florida for a week. Um, actually, it's it's kind of funny. He he lives in Florida now. He moved there uh, a year or two ago. I don't remember exactly when. I think maybe we're going on two years. But I gave him the Italian guilt trip enough, so he invited me along. So that was that was cool. So hopefully, um, it'll be smooth sailing throughout the week. Bunch of fun stuff. Um, yeah, I think that was that's pretty much it. Like I said, never done a video like this before. I seem actually seems like I'm rambling now, so I can't really think of anything else that's kind of pertinent. It's kind of a little little intro maybe hopefully if i can do one every day just a little short short video of, of the day uh get it uploaded at night that way you can keep keep following along throughout the week so that's it